Well, there we go. Um, have uh, the wiring done on one amp, so it was a pretty big chore, that's for sure. I think it's like 6.15 now. Took a couple short breaks, but uh, for the most part, I think it took like five, did it take five hours? Was it 12 o'clock when I started? I'm not sure if it was that late. I'm not really sure if it was that late. I did some, yeah, it's probably around 12 o'clock, I guess. Probably five hours to wire it. So you can see the wiring's done. Uh, there's some challenges to that, that's for sure. It was a lot of work, and uh, you gotta be patient and try to get the wires looking half decent. I think I pretty much cut the wire. That's the one it looks like from the picture. And mine, it's not too much different. It looks pretty close. I think it's good, but uh, it's important. I have to verify everything. I'm ready to plug it in, but I'm not plugging it in yet. I'm going to plug it in on the weekend. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to plug it in and try it so but what i did i went over everything again and just touched wires to make sure i soldered where i was supposed to solder make sure none of these resistors or anything like that is touching is touching any other place it's not supposed to touch and all that so actually i found the cap can i didn't do the solder on the on the ground for some reason so it goes from the ground lug to over there to that uh the ground log over there so uh, I didn't do that one I had another one on the cap can wasn't soldered it doesn't seem to have a step where it said to finally solder that point so I think that wasn't my fault the ground one I missed somehow too so I missed that had uh, what else was something I rearranged the wires though there was some stuff too close together and I might have touched or come close to touching you know I tried to put all the wires together made it a little neater but before I plug it in I'm thinking I go over every step and just trace everything out and make sure everything looks like it's supposed to. But I think I got it right. I took my time. It was a uh, was lots of fun. It was a challenge though. Uh, not the easiest thing to do when you start wiring all the sockets here and all that to get remember what you're doing and get in there with the soldering iron. And it starts getting tight in spaces, especially these two resistors. Those are in a tight spot to. to in there but anyway so I mean I think it looks pretty good so I'm pretty happy with that would be a kind of quick look through it get this to focus closer there we go This will probably be a good part of the video for Bob to look at. So when I plug it in and I did something wrong, he can say, Hey, Rob, you put that in the wrong place. So I might use this video for sure. I hope that doesn't happen. I'm going to feel pretty confident when I plug it in. I'm scared right now to plug it in because I haven't verified everything for one final time. But I did do every step like Bob suggested. I did every step carefully. And then when I was done the step, I verified the step. So when I was reading it, I was going my finger, okay, go from here to there. And then go from here to there. And those two go together. And those two. So I made sure everything. And then if it said solder, it's the solder. If it wasn't soldered, I said, okay, leave it. So every time I did a step, I did that. So I'm pretty sure I did it right because I did make a mistake somewhere. I forget where it was. And I go, whoops, that was wrong. So when I did the verification before I even soldered it, then I saw it. And so I moved it over. So you got to do that. Do one step very carefully, verify the step after you've done it very carefully, and then it should be okay. So anyway, so the next step is going to be uh, me plugging. I'm not doing any videos on me uh, starting them up though, because I need I can't be distracted, can't be doing video production and stuff when I'm going to plug it in and check things and hopefully nothing goes wrong. So when I'm done plugging it in and doing, it, I'll uh, make a little video and do a conclusion with that, and hopefully the amps will be playing music in the background while I do that video. Stay tuned for part six, I guess, after this one.